Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to enable Hyper-V or virtualization on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So before we begin, what is virtualization? So virtualization is an option for you to run a guest operating system inside your actual Windows operating system. So this guest operating systems might include like Windows, Linux, Solaris, etc. So what is the advantage of Hyper-V over any other? advantage is first it's free you need not install any third-party softwares like vmware virtual pc which are not tightly integrated into windows whereas hyper-v is actually a part of windows hence it's more optimal than any other third-party software so let's get started so before we begin we need to ensure that your cpu supports virtualization so open task manager performance and here all the way down you should see virtualization is enabled if it's disabled either it's two things either your cpu does not support virtualization or it's disabled in the bios if it's disabled in the bios i'm going to paste link to a couple of biases out there where there are procedures explain how to enable it so once we are done with that next we can go ahead and enable the or you can say install all the components needed to achieve virtualization so just type features in your start search and this should take a couple of seconds and in this we need to install a couple of components to achieve virtualization the first thing is the hyper-v which is the main application for managing and installing virtual machines next is hypervisor platform and virtual machine you can also go ahead and install windows sandbox this is a very handy tool where you want to test something maybe which is not really needed permanently so you can install sandbox anything that is installed or copied into the sandbox virtual box is automatically deleted the moment you close the whole window so be careful with this let's click on ok this is going to install all the components and I'm going to reboot the machine so we'll resume back once the reboot is completed so uh, it's going to ask for a reboot now I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the installation is completed now in the start menu type Hyper-V and okay so this should open up the Hyper-V manager on the right you should uh, have the option to create the virtual machine so uh, there's quick option and new I would suggest go with the new virtual machine and this should open the virtual machine creation platform I'm gonna type win XP I'm gonna install virtual Windows XP generation 1 this depends on your processor Windows XP is pretty old operating system I'm going with generation 1 so generation 2 is for example if you're installing Windows 10 Windows 11 then I would suggest go with generation 2 I'm going to allocate 2 GB RAM that's a lot for Windows XP and here you have an option to select the interfaces I would go with the default switch so that should give you at least a minimal internet connection this is very choosy hard disk size this is more than enough for Windows XP and here you can go ahead and uh, browse if you have if you want to choose win, uh, installing the operating system later but I would not suggest that go ahead and if you have the CD then you can go ahead and select the virtual um, and physical disk or you can go ahead and browse the ISO I'm gonna go ahead and browse the Windows XP ISO and that's it it's going to create the virtual machine files and there are two options one is connect and one is start start starts up the virtual machine in the background and then you can go ahead and connect and this should open the window which shows the virtual machine and as you can see it's actually installing Windows XP it's pretty smooth uh, compared to other uh, virtualization platforms without using any uh, thing is that in the for example if you're using VMware you need to install certain add-ons and without that add-ons then the windows will run laggy but here you don't have such concept so you, ju you can just go ahead and install and it should work just like that 
I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to show you other options. You have a quick create option. So here by default Hyper-V gives you option to install Linux Ubuntu uh, or you can have a Windows 10 dev environment. This is an evaluation copy uh, so don't completely rely on this or you have a test environment created so you can just click next and create a virtual machine and it should download the ISO for Ubuntu and install the operating system for you now let's talk about sandboxing so as I explained earlier you have an option called as sandboxing where which is mainly intended for testing purposes for example you want to test uh, you want to install any software but you don't want to do it on your actual machine and thing is that if you want the all the installations to be lost the moment you close it then this is the right tool for that so as you can see windows or sorry windows sandboxing is nothing but a copy of windows 11 but with the limited features and it is even faster since it has a limited capabilities compared to the actual windows operating system anything again I keep I'll repeat it again anything you install here or copy to this will be lost the moment you go ahead and close it so that's all I had in this video please like share and subscribe for more such tips and tricks thank you